Hello everyone. Uh, I'd like to share, uh, I guess with, especially since now, um, with a lot of the gym closed, and even when they open again, um, I think this still might be a good alternative. Um, so one of the things that happened with COVID-19 and the coronavirus is that a lot of the gyms have closed, so getting in shape and just maintaining your strength was difficult by only just doing push-ups. So push-ups are good, um, no doubt, but there, there are li there's limitations to push-ups, such as it doesn't really focus one muscle group, and it doesn't actually do biceps really well, I think, in my mind, and also shoulders. Uh, I think most of the force is bared by your pecs uh, or your chest. Um, so that being said, during that time, you could also just bought like you know weights um, off of eBay, Target, or Walmart. Unfortunately, the problem with that is that all the weights at Walmart and Target were literally sold out, you know, pretty quickly. And the ones that are on eBay and Amazon and whatnot, they're selling for extremely high premiums. So, for example, like a vinyl. 40 pound weight set that you would find at Walmart for $20 at the height of the scare or the height of the lockdown they're selling for $400 and I'm literally vinyl is literally just a vinyl disc filled with cement or some type of cement thing so you're paying $400 for a $2 bag of cement that's crazy if you think about it okay so I've the other way you could do it is you can make your own weights out of cement as well. But I've seen what people have done is they actually set the cement, as in they mix the cement with water and then they made like actual dumbbells of it. I don't think you need to go that far. So today I want to show you something that I did. Um, it's there's no dumbbells, so I'm pretty sure you could do dumbbells with it. Uh, but I just use a straight bar. So this is a 48 inch, one half inch steel bar, and you can get this bar for about eight dollars, or even seven dollars depending on where you live. Uh, you can get even a bigger one, like a 60 inch, um, for about the same price as well. I use 48 inch because it's kind of just basically my size. Um, and the other thing you need is just one gallon jugs. Um, you know. I drink water from these jugs, so it's easier for me. Uh, if you drink it from bottles, if you drink water from bottles, you, you need to convert to these jugs for a while. And when you convert, you don't actually, if you have a pitcher or something like that, you can just put the water in that pitcher and just drink from that. Or you can put the water in buckets, like a five gallon bucket, right, cleaned. And just store the water in that, and you can have your weight set right away um, so what do I have here so this is in total se around 70 pounds these two here are just mixed gravel rocks so they're around this one and, and this one here I should really label these they're like mixed gravel rocks there's there these two are around 12 12 and a half pounds this is actual cement mix so this is closer to 15 pounds. These two are 15 pounds. And then these half gallon milk cartons or containers, they're full of cement as well. So they're around seven pounds, seven and a half pounds. So all in total around 70 pounds in total. Uh, and the way you use this is, and let me, let me move this one second, let me move this over. It's, it's fairly simple. So this, so it's the same thing with any weight. So here at the end, I use a hose clamp. So this will stop the bars, the carton from sliding this way. And at the very end uh, of all of these bars are is actually threads, uh, half inch threads, which you can buy these caps, these end caps. For these are end caps are about a dollar each. Okay. So all in all. Not counting the water because you're gonna drink the water. I drink the water anyway, and the milk as well. Um, that's two dollars for the end caps, 
and then one dollar for the bar um, 59 cents for each of the host clamps so that's around let's just say eleven dollars in total you have a 70 pound weight set and I use gloves to do the workout you don't have to obviously it's not necessary I just like to use the gloves because it's a little bit easier uh, on my hands I feel I like it I like the bar to just kind of freely rotate in my hands so to do this I'm just gonna do it really quickly for one and I set this up right now the distance or the host clamp for just one of these but you can literally put on the full 70 pound weight if you wanted to so one second let me just one second let me push this in there real quick So there you go. So that's how the weight the system works. I, you just kind of stick it in there, and this plastic is strong enough to hold the weight. So, and that's pretty much it. And usually you want to have these hose clamps to be at the same uh, location, so that you can avoid. And you can do other things. So you can kind of cap these with plastic to avoid hitting the plastic. But usually what I do is I have it like this, and I usually just have because this thing will rotate in there I usually just have this uh, the connector or apparatus here facing this way so that when I curl up it curls like that and you just do the same with the other side and then there you go you have a you have a, this in this case this is around 25 pounds you can add as more as you want it to up to 70 pounds um, I might do this with, uh, so you can get this smaller if you like a bar size, so it'll be like right here, and you have another one right here, so it'll be right here in a distance week, right, right, sorry, it'll be like this, and then the other one will be right here, so you can do curls, but, again, what I do is I just do bicep curls, I do overheads, and then with, like, the... 70 pounds, I guess I could do like shoulder, uh, shoulder, uh, hunches or whatever that thing's called. Where you kind of hunch your shoulder. I need, I need to look this up. I usually just do, like, you know, at the gym, I just used to just do bicep curls. Mm -hmm. And also, at the triangle, you don't have, if you don't have a bench, at the triangle here of your bed, you can put your back on the bed, bed, and you put your body kind of leaning out. And you can do chest presses that way as well. So, obviously, you know, this is not a real gym, but we got to do what we can at this point just to kind of get a workout going. Um, again, this is literally $11 to do, uh, 70 pounds of weight. Um, you know, it's not the best. Uh, probably better improvements. I think one of the improvements, oh, you also need like a small screwdriver to screw the uh, hose clamps uh, don't do it by don't do it by hand that's just you just need you do need to make it a little bit tight obviously not like super tight but not hand tight um, and maybe you have good, good hand strength yeah maybe you could do hand tight but yeah so that's uh, that's the uh, that's the makeshift COVID-19 weights uh, you know, I've been working out on that um, it actually feels pretty good, um, you know. There's not much, especially if you get this dialed in just right. There's no real flex this way when once the weight is applied there, and um, you know obviously it curls. I use gloves because when I do the curl, I like the bar to just kind of easily slide and not kind of rub up against my skin. Oh, and also, you definitely need to have a half-inch pipe. This is <clears throat> this is a steel pipe. Uh, sorry, I forgot to say that. This is a steel pipe that you can get from Menards, Home Depot, Lowe's, or wherever major retailer. And it should be around eight dollars, if not if not cheaper, for forty-eight inch and also sixty inch. Um, the bicep ones, I think, it will be even cheaper. So I might do an update later where I do a bicep, but anyway, that's it. Uh, hope everyone's doing well.